You're watching Personal Finance with Coach Kelvin. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, Coach Kelvin here. Um, today I want to talk to you about staking cryptocurrencies. Now CoinSpot has just announced they're now allowing you to stake particular cryptocurrencies and many exchanges also allow this. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about what staking is and then show you how to do it. So when you are investing in cryptocurrencies, staking is basically uh, a, a way to receive rewards by putting your cryptocurrency to work. So it's available with cryptocurrencies that use a proof of stake model to process payments and it's more energy efficient to the proof of work model which requires mining cryptocurrencies in order to solve equations. So staking basically is using the proof of stake system in order to uh, generate more tokens by making the blockchain more efficient when you are actually putting your cryptocurrencies up. Now certain exchanges such as uh, crypto.com they require you to stake and lock in your cryptocurrency for a particular amount of time. So, uh, for example, you could put it up for a month, you could put it up for three months or something like that. And based on the tier of time you're willing to stake your cryptocurrency for, this will actually give you different um, sort of different uh, interest rate returns. So you can look at staking as a way to earn interest against your cryptocurrency in that cryptocurrency that you are staking. So, for example, right now. <laughs> I am staking um, Cardano and also uh, Veracity. So what I want you guys to think about is like a high interest savings account. You put your cash in or your cryptocurrency and then you earn money back for leaving it in there. So with CoinSpot, how this works is you don't actually have to stake it for a particular amount of time. Your, your earned cryptocurrency isn't automatically reinvested, but you can just opt to do that as often as you want. And your you're basically compounding daily because you'll receive that cryptocurrency payout every single day and you could just log in and stake it every day if you wish to do so. So let's swap over to uh, CoinSpot now and I'll show you exactly how this works. Okay, so I'm currently on my Veracity wallet and this is uh, one of the coins I'm actually able to stake. So in CoinSpot, when you go to your wallets tab and then you pick your particular coin that offers staking, such as you know Solana, Cardano, Veracity, then you come over to this staking tab and you just select. Now what staking basically allows you to do is put your money up onto the blockchain. Um, you can see, you can see um, then what will happen is that blockchain is using your cryptocurrency to um, basically validate other transactions that are going into the blockchain and as a result you have more coins minted and then rewarded to you. So at the moment I'm staking 4600 uh, Veracity coins, the total rewards I've earned are 23 coins and next payout amount is 2.4 coins. Every day you are paid out so you can just um, stake all your cryptocurrency from there. So I've actually now got two, uh, two coins available to me. So if I check here, this is how many I've basically received in rewards because I had staked everything I had yesterday. So if I go stake all available, you can see that the balance I'll have staked is now a little more than what I'm staking here. So I've got that extra two, two coins and I'll just click edit amount. Now this, um, this Veracity coin is pretty awesome. You're able to earn 19.2% interest on your coin. Now that's extremely high and therefore I would deem it as far more risky than one like Cardano for example, which is at 5.1% on CoinSpot right now. But for a small little holding, I don't have a lot of money in this. I'm happy to take that risk and you know, um, basically try and stake a, a higher interest rate. Now, if I scroll down, you can see your staking history. This is how much you've had staked at a particular amount of time. Um, it's very, very easy to add more to it. So every time you maybe buy some more coins, you just simply stake it again and update. And here is your rewards history. So every day you can see I'm getting about two coins. And as I had less money staked, uh, sorry, less cryptocurrency staked, then my payout was less. So if I'm getting 13 cents paid out, that's 2.4 Veracity coins. And you can see that that, um, that dollar amount in Australian dollars will actually be a, a taxable event, but I'm still earning money in the process. The problem is though, if you're earning um, cryptocurrency and it's say paying out this rate and you earn this much and the, the price of that coin comes down, you'll start earning less 
but because you've already earned it at this particular um, Australian dollar amount, your taxable income your taxable income is assessed off that amount. So you still have to pay your tax component on the amount of cryptocurrency you've earned, regardless of what the price was, basically in the Australian dollars or whichever currency it is that you earn cryptocurrency in via staking. So it's a very cool way to earn some interest. I recommend that if you're going to have any cryptocurrency um, that can be staked, you do so because it's a little way to boost your income. Also, it's putting your cryptocurrency to work, much like um, reinvesting dividends when you own shares compared to having cash. So it's definitely worthwhile checking out. Um, staking can make the, the ownership of cryptocurrency more risky than if you had it in cold storage, which is basically transferring it into an external hard drive or a, or a cold wallet that is not listed um, on, the, on the blockchain and it keeps it secure for you without risk of hacking. Now, obviously, by, by having your money left in the blockchain and available to stake, this, uh, this creates some problems uh, or potentially problems. Now, with your staking, you can unstake at any time in CoinSpot, so you're not locked into a particular term, whereas Crypto.com, for example, does force that. So if you're unsure of when you're going to need to draw on these funds or if you might need to sell or if the, the price were to skyrocket all of a sudden and you wish you could pull your money out to sell, then staking on CoinSpot is going to be um, better for you. But if you know that you're a long-term holder, you have no intention of selling or trading, then you may want to do this in crypto.com or something, which has um, other rewards as well. So the rewards you receive by staking in CoinSpot are payouts in that exact coin. But when you stake uh, crypto.com coin, for example, CRO on that platform, that opens you up to other rewards like the credit card and stuff. And I'll probably look at that path at some point in the future. So it's pretty cool when you see um, when you see that you can earn such a high interest rate on your cryptocurrency. Obviously, the most efficient way to earn money in crypto is to just simply uh, get the capital appreciation in the price and then sell it after you've held it for 12 months, which gives you that 50% capital gains tax discount here in Australia. But there's no problem having to earn tax because it means you're also making money. So I'd, I'd argue that staking your cryptocurrency is a very safe, um, or not a very safe, but like a, a very good thing to do because you're still making money where you typically would not have been before. All right, so if there's any cryptocurrencies you wish to uh, check out um, for staking, you can always log into CoinSpot, um, just see what's available to stake. And then if you own any of that, feel free to chuck it up and earn some money back for putting your cryptocurrency to work. Because by doing this, you're going to earn more money than what you would have had by just leaving it um, sitting idle in the exchange. And if you are a long-term holder of cryptocurrency, then it actually makes a lot of sense to keep it staked because if you're planning to hold it you know until 2030 for example chances are you're going to earn a lot of money as the coin market cap grows uh, for cryptocurrencies as an asset class what you'll find is when you're looking at any sort of cryptocurrency to to buy often they'll have little runs up and then come down it's a very volatile asset class so predicting the price tomorrow or in two years is going to be difficult but predicting what the whole uh, asset class will do, say in 10 years, I think it's very likely that we'll see a lot of money poured into the crypto market, especially as the utility of crypto grows. With uh, Facebook offering its new metaverse and a lot of cryptocurrencies involved in that, such as MANA and Decentraland, um, you're going to see a lot of a lot of growth, I think, in the crypto space. And I would argue that it's very... Uh, very important time to get involved in some way. So there you go, guys. That is cryptocurrency staking on the CoinSpot exchange. Now, if you would like to sign up to CoinSpot, check my description in the YouTube video, and I actually have a referral link where signing up will earn you 10 Bitcoin, and I'll also earn 10 Bitcoin. So if you're after, if you're after earning any uh, rewards for signing up, then feel free to use that uh, referral link. All right, guys, if you got any value from this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Hey guys, I just thought I'd quickly throw in a bit of a view of coinmarketcap.com and I'll also leave the link in the description for this. So if you're ever unsure about what the total market cap is of the crypto you're looking to invest in, you can come to this website, scroll down and it will just show you in a numerical order of the coin market cap what each one is worth. So you can see here at number one we have Bitcoin with 933,315,000. Oh sorry, 933,315,000. Three hundred fifteen million. We then have Ethereum at four hundred eighty-four billion, Binance Coin at ninety-four billion, Tether at seventy-six billion, Solana at fifty-two billion, etc. So, if you're wondering what the market cap of each coin that you're looking to invest in is, you can simply go through a scroll through here, and it will show you in order. Okay. So there you go, guys. I just thought I'd quickly throw this in, so that you know if you're looking for a crypto where you're likely to have more. Um, more price hike or like a bigger capital appreciation that's generally easier on the lower market cap coins so like if I scroll down all the way down to here and it loads you know we're looking at like 3 billion instead of 900 billion so there's a bit more room for those cryptocurrencies to play with and grow but like all investment advice to your own research and um, come to the conclusions you want understand that crypto is very volatile and you can lose your money so don't just throw money in at anything before you are uh, like without researching it before you actually invest all right guys thank you